The sky is a battlefield. Up there, among the clouds, fighter jets engage in deadly ballets of speed and agility. One maneuver stands out for its sheer audacity, the Cobra maneuver. Imagine a fighter jet flying at high speed. Suddenly it rears its nose straight up. The jet momentarily slows down, almost as if it's about to stall. But then it gracefully returns to level flight. This is the Cobra maneuver. Successfully executing a Cobra maneuver requires incredible engineering and pilot skill. It's a high-risk, high-reward gambit in the sky. In the realm of modern fighter jets, two aircraft often find themselves compared, the American F-22 Raptor and the Russian Su-57. Both are marvels of engineering designed for air superiority, but they take different approaches. The F-22 Raptor with its sleek, angular design prioritizes stealth and maneuverability. It's a predator in the sky, designed to strike quickly and disappear. The Su-57, while also a formidable jet, emphasizes speed and raw power. These design philosophies translate into different strengths and weaknesses. The Cobra maneuver highlights these differences dramatically. At the heart of the F-22's ability to perform the Cobra maneuver is its advanced thrust vectoring system. This technology allows the pilot to direct the exhaust of the jet's engines, not just to propel it forward, but also to control its pitch and yaw. Imagine a rocket engine that can swivel in different directions. This is essentially what thrust vectoring allows. By manipulating the direction of the exhaust, the F-22 can perform maneuvers that defy the limits of traditional aerodynamics. This gives the Raptor an edge in close-range dogfights, where agility and the ability to outmaneuver an opponent are paramount. Section 4 in the grip of the sky, aerodynamics and agility. Thrust vectoring alone isn't enough. The F-22's airframe, the structural framework of the aircraft, is designed for extreme agility. Its sleek aerodynamic shape reduces drag, allowing for rapid changes in direction. The shape and size of the F-22's wings and control surfaces are optimized for maneuverability. It's like the difference between a sports car and a truck. Both can turn, but one does it with far more grace and precision. This aerodynamic advantage, coupled with the precision of thrust vectoring, makes the Cobra maneuver possible. The F-22 can momentarily shift its flight profile, almost stalling without losing control. Section 5. A raptor's bite demonstrating aerial superiority. While the Cobra maneuver is impressive to witness, its practical applications in real combat are debated. However, it serves as a testament to the F-22's exceptional maneuverability. During training exercises, F-22 pilots have showcased the jet's ability to outmaneuver adversaries. The Cobra maneuver, while not a standard combat tactic, demonstrates the Raptor's ability to gain a positional advantage in a dogfight. The Su-57, while capable, lacks the same level of thrust vectoring control and aerodynamic refinement. It's a powerful aircraft, but not as agile as the Raptor. Section 6. Conclusion. The skies belong to the agile. In the dogfight, where split-second decisions can mean the difference between victory and defeat, agility reigns supreme. The F-22 Raptor, with its advanced thrust vectoring system and aerodynamic design, embodies this principle. The Cobra maneuver, while not a silver bullet in combat, is a testament to the Raptor's capabilities. It showcases the technological prowess that allows the F-22 to outmaneuver adversaries, securing its place as one of the most formidable fighter jets ever built. The sky is a challenging battleground, but for now, the Raptor rules the skies.